The state of Telangana in India has become the first state in the country to launch a state robotics framework today at an event in Hyderabad. The state aims to create a sustainable robotics ecosystem that supports innovation, entrepreneurship and research and development. Launching the framework, Shri KT Ramarao, Honorable Minister for IT, MA and UD and Industries, the state is committed to embracing new technologies. Listen in. Telangana as a state from the very beginning has realized the pivotal role of uh, technology uh, in the progress of our state. Therefore, we have focused immensely on adopting every latest technology and uh, becoming a catalyst for technological innovations. We are now living in the era of fourth industrial revolution, which is driven by emerging technologies and is disrupting many sectors on a day-to-day -day basis. Harnessing it the right way will give us the necessary, necessary impetus to be a global leader in tech adoption. With this in mind, we have set up a first of its kind, uh, you know, emerging technologies wing back in 2017. We chose eight emerging technologies that Jayesh and Rama spoke about. Our objective was twofold. One, to design policy frameworks, to be a leader, to be a thought leader, to set up institutions that encourage innovations, that encourage more and more tech adoption, which of course, again, the, the consequentially will result in research and development, capacity building, entrepreneurship, skill development, etc. What we decided is that as a government, we should follow the PPP approach. P for policy, P for partnership and P for projects. We decided that in a collaborative model, we can actually do more and we can deliver more. Under this PPP framework, we have released five actionable policy uh, frameworks on AI, cloud, blockchain, drone and space tech that have helped us focus on the key foundational pillars of each of these technologies in order to accelerate growth and adoption of these technologies in Telangana. The framework focuses on leveraging robotics technology to drive growth and development across four key domains of agriculture, healthcare, industrial automation, and consumer robotics. The state will set up a robo park equipped with testing facilities, co working space, and co production and manufacturing facilities. Sri Jayesh Ranjan, Principal Secretary, ITENC and Industries, Government of Telangana, said the framework will catalyze the growth of the robotics industry in Telangana and the country. Listen in. Robotics, of course, uh, all of you would know that uh, worldwide, this is a very big movement. I won't even say trend, but a movement which is going on. More and more creative applications of uh, robots, more automation. But if you, if you look at the right hand side of this chart, India's uh, presence, India's footprint on the industrial robots is very minuscule. You can see that uh, there is almost uh, 50 times gulf between India and China, which is the leader, and also between India and so many other countries that are re represented here. The idea behind creating this framework is to give a structure to all these activities which are going on, increase uh, convergence, bring domain expertise into this area, and of course participate uh, as a government in supporting the creation and flourishment of this entire ecosystem. The robotics framework basically will make Telangana a world-class robotics ecosystem. There will be manufacturing opportunities given. R&D will happen from here. Lots of exports will happen. There will be a skilled testing uh, workforce, world-class testing facilities. Collaboration will be the model that we will adopt while the government will take the lead. We'll be inviting lots of uh, private companies, academic institutions, and uh, startups. And eventually, we will be designing opportunities for new technology adoption. So which are the areas where so far the world has not seen a robotic intervention. Hopefully, one or two of those kind of uh, moonshot problems will also be tackled by us. The, the priority of uh, deployment of robotics will be in four domains, which you can see on this slide, agriculture, healthcare, consumer robotics, and uh, industrial automation. Srimati Ramadevi Lanka, Director of Emerging Technologies, said robotics technology has immense potential to transform various sectors and drive growth. Listen in. We are one of the leading states liberating AI in agriculture, forestry, education, 
climate change and forests, etc. in other domains to improve lives to create impact. Uh, we are also setting up an enabling digital infrastructure, uh, like, you know, making available high performance computing to startups. That's one. Second, we are also building digital public goods or digital public infrastructure. And just to give an example is we are actually building agriculture data exchange platform. It's a data exchange platform where data will be made available, you know, uh, over a platform. It's not like we're storing on, it's a very unique one. We are working uh, on this with Indian Institute of Science Bangalore. For each of our part, you know, programs or initiatives, we have very unique partners. The state of Telangana is also planning to organize a global robotics summit to showcase its growing robotics ecosystem and attract investments from across the world. Additionally, the state will establish a world-class robotics accelerator to provide startups with the necessary support from incubation to market insight. The state shall set up a separate body called the Telangana Robotics Innovation Center to implement the robotic framework.